Muay Thai definitely changed how I am as to like how I was when I was like 16, 17. I used to be at Hothead. I don't think I could beat everybody up in this world. Because of Muay Thai and with all the sparring and fighting, I know that I'm not the biggest dog in this world. There's always gonna be someone that's bigger and stronger and better fighter than I am. And that kind of humbled me down a lot. If I met my 16 year old self now, I think I'll beat the crap out of him I might. <laughs> Just because of, I know how cocky I used to be. I used to think I was the shit, so yeah, I think I would actually give myself a little lesson. My name is Ho Sun Ha, 29. I'm an amateur Muay Thai fighter. I fight out of Seyatong, Los Angeles. I'm fighting April 27th for uh, Fighters Rep for one of their promotional titles. Five rounds. It's an awesome looking belt. I can't wait to have that on my wall. My journey into discovering Muay Thai was actually a pretty lengthy one. Started out in 2010 when I left the country. I'm a two striker. For people that don't know what two striker is, it's a uh, when you commit violent crime more than once. Or I was in a gang before. So I had two strikes on my record and I was facing my third one. So I uh, grabbed up whatever money I had and I helped the border. And from there, I went to China. It was there that I discovered Muay Thai. I was working and I was walking by this this gym that was by my workplace. I walked by it and I could see these tiny little kids cracking at the pads from their Thai trainer. And I was looking at them, I was like, wow, these kids look like they could kick my ass. They're like 12, 13 years old, scrawny little kids. And I was like, oh shoot, that's pretty cool. So I walked up in there and I signed up, did it for a whole year, and I fell in love with it. I came back, fought my case, fighting life so I was locked up for a little over a year luckily because of all the stuff that I did because I was an English teacher back in China I uh, beat life and then the judge gave me a second chance at life came out end of 2014 and the first thing I did when I got out was I'll look for a Muay Thai gym the first one on my list was Sayatong because I remember passing by it a long time ago, back when I was in Pasadena. I came, I tried out the trial class. Off the bat, I was like, no, this is it. I got into it. There you go. Started out as a student, started training, fighting. My style as a fighter, I'm an aggressive fighter. Right off the bat, right when the bell rings, I march forward. I pressure and I pressure. Relentless. My fights usually draw a pretty big crowd just because of the way I fight. Crew Walter, he's, he's a multiple world champ. As you can see back there, those are his belts. Eight belts. <laughs> you know, he's he's a he's a great trainer. He cares a lot about his fighters. He's tough. He's tough. He doesn't take no for an answer and he doesn't believe in fatigue. Anybody can win all the time, but how do you recover from your wins? How do you fucking redeem yourself? That's what makes champions. If you never fucking lost, it'd be like, yeah, I won. I'm doing everything right. So what? I'm, I'm fucking great. No, that's bullshit. It's not real. Yeah. yeah.
We have a program that we follow, and uh, we don't really change that much for opponents other than seeing you know, what their style is a little bit, but we don't dwell on and obsess on the opponents because it can get in your head. The mental game is so huge in this sport that you've got to stay relaxed and stay focused on your lifestyle and your maintenance. Ready? And we know the opponent, uh, he's a great guy, a good fighter, and uh, you know, respect him and all that, but when it gets in, you know, we get in there in the ring, it's gonna be total war, and I know they know that too. Every day for me is has become a routine. I, I wake up at 4.40 in the morning, hit the gym by five. I'm there for about an hour. I head home, take a shower, get dressed, and then I go hit the nine to five. I still have to train again for the second time. So I'm probably not getting home until about 11.30, 12 o'clock. There's moments where you definitely don't want to get out of bed. And even getting out of bed hurts. I always say the same thing when people ask me, well, why do you get up so early? Is that necessary? No, it's not necessary, but it's a mental battle. And if I can win that battle, it's gonna be really hard to beat me in the ring. My name is Oscar Mueller, and I'm an amateur fighter. I train out of True Warrior, Six Side Muay Thai, and Team Victory. True Warrior is where everything started. True Warrior is my foundation. This is the team that I've wanted to represent under the same banner, under the same flag from day one. Making sure that I stayed loyal, loyal to my team and loyal to my teammates. A lot of, a lot of good fighters have come out of this gym. And there may not be the same fighters here uh, as there was before, but we're still just as tough. We know for the most part, a lot of things, but the only thing we're gonna cover right now, as far as what we got for Oscar, is working on our drill to stay long. We're gonna do the pads next. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away the front kicks and we're gonna go to the tight kicks. So we're gonna go here. What we're gonna do is let Oscar throw his jab and give me his body. I'm here waiting for Oscar to jab me. Boom, boom, boom. That's all I'm doing, right? We're, we're gonna do it on the pads, but that's what we're looking for, right? Now, let's just say, Oscar throws his jab, boom. I go and I did hit him, right? And I did hit him. Then Oscar has his cross, why? To keep me honest here. So I don't get into, I wanna drop my hand. Yeah, that's cool and all, but this close, the last place your hand should be on any assistance is down. It should be straight across the person's body. That way if we need to engage or do something with it, it's ready to go. It kills me when I see you guys standing here. Wham, it's like, holy moly, you know what I mean? If you're here, hands here, wham, wham. If you don't want to, then don't do it. I'd rather you guys stay here. That's what we're doing. We're setting up the jab to the kick. Paul, Paul is the person that brought me on to Muay Thai. Uh, he's been doing it long, uh, longer than I have. Uh, and he's taught me a lot of the things that I know. Uh, one of the things that, that we both see eye to eye on is, is being disciplined and being technically sound. Hey, hey. Go mid. Hey. Hey, hey. Good, keep your hands up though. Go high. Hey, hey, hey. Good. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Switch down the line. On April 27th, the fight against Wilson Ha is the main event. It's also a title fight. It's uh, something that really excites me. It's with a promotion I've never fought for, which also excites me. When I win this title, it's not just me that wins, it's all of us winning. This guy has really made some strength gains uh, just in the short time that we've been doing some changes in our program and uh, it's really going well. So we'll do that next. And then, uh, then we'll get our sprint work in. We do sprints once a week and they are hellacious. It's inhuman suffering 
torturous type of sprint work, but it gets the mental game in a position where you're ready to fight anybody, and uh, that's where you want to be. I'm here for 110%. I'm here for 110. This is a fucking team. It's a fucking team. One and all. One and all. I'm here to give 110%. I'm here to give 110%. When I give 110, I expect to win. When I give 110, I expect to win. I deserve to win. I deserve to win. Each and every day. Each and every day. I'm focused. Focus. On the task at hand. On the task at hand. And the task at hand is winning. The task, the task at hand is winning. I don't think about getting tired. I don't think about getting tired. It's not in my vocabulary. It's not, it's not in my vocabulary. I don't care about pain. I don't care about pain. It does not register. It's not register. I'll die in there if I have to. I'll die in there if I have to. When you're fighting, our worst enemy is ourselves. When we get tired, that's always our worst fear. Crew Walter beats that fear out of us during the training. This is where it matters. This is where they gotta dig deep and really like, ah! This is the shit I used to do once a week when I was fighting too. I had a really good conditioning coach, a really smart guy. He goes, we gotta figure out something in three minutes where you're just maxing out, redlining everything, the same time frame you would have for a fight. And so it ended up doing three quarter mile sprints. 30. Ready? Line back up. You guys line up. Two, two, fifteen. I'm being merciful. I don't know why. But you guys look so shitty. But I'm not gonna make you do two and two ten. Are you ready? Stand by. Go. Master Wilson. Nice. Sprint, guys. Come on! This is the shit that wins fights, man. When it feels crappy and you want to quit, you feel like hell. 102, let's pick this shit up, guys! Are you ready? Step on! Go! Come on! Get in there! Let's go! Move! That's it! My first day of camp, so I'm a little uh, out of shape. You guys come back in two weeks, give a better performance. Uh, speed is going to be about 50 to 75, nothing too crazy. We need to get all the rounds in. The power is going to be about 25. Warm up, get a feel for the people you haven't sparred with. This is how it's gonna work. Oh, it's perfect. It's us three against them three. So you guys are against the wall to start off. You guys are defensive. We're offense. Sparring, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's a little bit more technical. We're gonna let it ride. Here we go. On the bell. Just depends on, on what the moment asks for. Uh, generally speaking, Paul and I have always sparred a little bit harder, and we've been able to avoid injury. I think him and I we do the Muay Thai dance very well. Time! Shrek! <coughs> On the bell. I feel like a lot of fighters have a switch or may not have a switch. 
I think there's been instances for me where that switch has happened. But I go in there with a different mentality, I think. I go in there with a more peaceful mentality. When I step in that ring, when I hear that bell ring, it's no longer a person that's in front of me. It's almost like it's an obstacle. I can show my true form. I can let go of everything that I've ever held back. It's almost like a dance. And sometimes for that dance to blossom, it takes that other person. I don't bring any animosity. I don't bring love. I'm very neutral when it comes to that. But definitely I'm looking to inflict pain. That's the name of the game. I know what I signed up for. You know what you signed up for. As a fighter, you go into that ring knowing the risks. Knowing the risks that you're taking stepping in there. Uh, your life could change and you could change somebody else's life. Being an amateur fighter, it's tough. Mainly because we don't have a purse at the end of the fight. And when you're training this hard for a fight, especially when it's a title fight, you sacrifice a lot of time. I sacrifice a lot of work for people that want to do this sport. You, especially if you're an amateur, you're doing it for the love of it. Love of the sport, there's no money in it. <laughs> especially in amateurs. <laughs> Oh, there you go, nice. Yeah, sure. Oh, man, move. That's it right there. Now you're canning it. Now count them right back. Come on, Willie. Wilson, get your hands up, dude. Smile at him. Move. Move. Yeah, in your element. You should be putting it on here right now. Stay in there. Stay in there. Put it on, Put it on. Stay in there. Stay in the pocket and go. Who's in the side now? Who's in the side? Stay in there. Are you back off? He's gonna record us all this uh, like bit session, man. <laughs> oh, he's complaining. Fucker! <laughs> it is what it is. That's training, man. Yeah. Ain't pretty. Now here's the time to turn it up. You want to win rounds? You win them now. Right now, finish strong. There you go. There you go. Keep that angle. Stay in there. Like keep them in the road. Keep them in the corner. Keep them in the corner because you your angles from there. Good. 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 Take his mouthpiece out. Take his mouthpiece out. Now what? Uh, uh, Whether you're an amateur fighter or a pro fighter, life is going to be tough, full of sacrifices. 
time with family and friends. You sacrifice moments in life that you'll never get back. Birthday parties, anniversaries, celebrations that will pass you by, but you do it for the love of the sport. from Team Victory Muay Thai and Boxing. Uh, we're here in the city of uh, Studio City. We started Team Victory about 14 years ago as an outreach in Inglewood, helping out the kids and the community. Uh, him and I have run into each other multiple times at different Muay Thai events. One thing I appreciate and like about Oscar is he's such a great, humble fighter. Every event we had, every Muay Thai event in Southern California, we were able to see him. He would come up to me and introduce himself, and he would always embrace us, you know, like we're family. And I always appreciate that, because he didn't have to do that. We said, you know, one day, if you ever want to get some rounds or get some work in, come on in. We hooked up about a couple months ago, and we got ready for one of his fights. It just meshed well. It just happened that at that moment, I was looking for, for something to take me to that next level. Uh, one of the biggest things that I take away from Crew Rod is that he blends a lot of the boxing into the Muay Thai. My background was uh, started off as a boxer and I ended up becoming a Thai boxer. The system that I developed was really not so much to water down the, the Thai style, but as you know, we're here in the United States, our bread and butter is boxing. Uh, I just kind of emphasize and kind of put a little more on the boxing part of Muay Thai. Look at that hey, go. Hey, hey, look at that swag. Hey, that swag. There's a swag. Hey, there you go. Good, good, good. Hey, hey, go. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, go. Nice. Hey, bam, come on. His style of movement on Muay Thai is great. All I'm doing for him is I'm putting a little more swag. I'm putting a little bit of tapatio on that little ingredients, you know, and make him a little more spicy in his fight. sure he's fluent, he's moving, and his IQ is on point. Uh, anything else there, that's a top secret, and I can't say anything. Uh, you have to be able to react and, and to understand, you know what I mean? 
Hard work don't mean nothing unless there's something behind. If there, you can make food, but if you don't have the right ingredients behind it, man, it's nothing. You're just, you're just making food, right. you know? I, you, can, you can make a good baked chicken. He could probably kill it and put all kinds of seasoning, and I'll probably love it more, you know? Yeah. You have to react. Like me, you catching my kick, you need to know what to do with that, you know, like right away. Yeah. You got to have that IQ because you're getting better, you're getting going more and more, you're being recognized. So the level you're at right now, you have to make sure you're in that same level of what people expect you and where you're at. Okay, we gotta get you right there. You, you could be, but I need more time with you. You got the fun, you got everything, but I, I have to direct it. Right. Okay. City of Tong is definitely a team that I respect and admire as well. There's actually a lot of fighters there that I know and that I respect and have kept my eye on, not because I think one day I'm going to face them, but because I'm a fan. My opponent is someone that, you know, I've seen at events before, I've seen him fight as well. Us going in there, the best way to showcase that respect is by me coming in there giving you 100 and my opponent coming in there giving me 100. So I'm expecting a lot, and I hope he's expecting a lot as well. This is not who's a better gym, who's a better team. It's two inspiring men that's gonna make noise in this sport. What the fans can expect to see on April 27th at uh, Fighters Web Show is action. Oscar, I heard he's a real technical fighter, so be a real nice technical fight. Be, uh, be like a beautiful dance. <laughs> Today's world is filled with a lot of hashtags, a lot of inspirational quotes, but there's not always action behind it. So I want to inspire people, as cliche as that sounds, I want to inspire people, not through words, but through action. There you go, Wilson. I always strive to show people the things that you can do. And that's what I want to show with more time. Fight is looking and shaping out to be very exciting. We're both two fighters that are gonna bring it. We're both two fighters that have the skill level as well as the... Regardless of whether I win or lose, you're always gonna see a good fight. My style is always to bring the show. Fans could expect violence. It's gonna be a fun night.